This is the single most controversial topic in the industry. This is a screenshot from one of my best friends, Erica, had a client also named Erica that had an appointment scheduled and apparently had an accident where she sustained an injury and was not able to make her appointment. Now, based on this text, I'm just going to assume that she no called, no showed and did not um, did not pay for the time missed and gave gave Erica no opportunity to recoup the money that she would have made from her appointment slot. Now, what I cut, I had to cut this uh, screenshot uh, a little smaller because the person's phone number was in it. But Erica's response was, you know, sorry, you can't schedule an appointment right now because you still owe me for the appointment that you missed. I am sorry that you sustained an injury. And, you know, I understand that's an unfortunate situation, but um, you can you can easily, you know, get back in my chair. You just have to pay for the time missed. Now, I don't remember what the conclusion was. I don't remember how this lady responded. Um, but I can tell you that this very situation has ended several great relationships that I thought I had with clients. Um, several times I've had a client, no call, no show, give me an incredible reason why they missed their appointment and did not call or text me um, to let me know. And they just decided to move on and go elsewhere, which is their right. But one thing that I don't think people understand is that when you, sorry about that. When you book our time, you are blocking us from making money from somebody else, from another client. So I personally, I make it crystal clear in my policies before you book with me that when you schedule an appointment you must pay me for my time period with all due respect i don't care about your dog dying i don't care if you twisted your ankle i don't care if you fell on a flight of stairs i like respectfully it, it's not that i don't as a person care it's just that i'm i'm where i'm supposed to be when i'm supposed to be i'm available to you at your request so my policy basically i i, I operate on a general rule if you waste my time, I'm going to waste your money flat out. I have a business to run. A matter of fact, I have a shop to take care of and I can't let people play with my time. I've learned the hard way that people will do whatever you allow them to do with your resources. They will waste your time. They will waste your money. They will waste your emotions. They will do whatever you allow them to do with your things. And so my time is not something I play with. Now, a lot of clients don't get it and i do understand most people um like most clients will disagree with this and i i don't blame you because i understand that you don't understand but let me make it simple and plain let's say your boss tells you they need you to work on a particular day and you say okay so now you've got a you you, you have things that you could be doing but because you got to go to work you don't do them you cancel plans with friends, you get a babysitter, you gas up your car, you wake up early, you do all that stuff to go to work. You drive 30, 45, an hour, however long it takes you to get to work, you swim through traffic, and then you get to work and your boss says, oh man, just kidding, I don't need you. Now, you weren't able to do anything in your personal life because you, you, you canceled your plans to, because you had to work. You paid a sitter or a child care provider, you gassed up, you spent all that time getting to work. Now you're going to have to spend all that time getting home. You did everything you were supposed to do, but your boss decided, no, nah, I don't need you. I'm not paying you for today. How mad would you be? How fair would that be? That is no different than you booking our time and then deciding, nah, I, I, I can't make it today. It doesn't matter the reason at all. Um... Let me know what you guys think about this topic. Like I said, this is the most controversial topic that I've ever dealt with in the industry. Um, comment below whether you disagree or agree. Um, please follow me. I'm Sean Cuss H on all social media and I stream live daily on TikTok.